Mancino, di fuoco del cammino. Yeah, see there, the wasi. Yeah. It's a like fire filter. Right, right now we just are showing the software. We're not really connected to the unit. We didn't have it connected, but we disconnect it. But we just yeah, we just not showing everything right now. Yeah, but mm -hmm, yeah, see. it has um it has a fur filter built in, a FIR filter, it has Linkwitch Riley, mm -hmm. Butterworth and Bezel filters. Everything is built in, but this is just a software that we are pre right now that we're kinda mm -hmm. demonstrating that you have a bunch of different options in there. Where you can control first of all you can control every every input mm -hmm. all four of them independently and you control all eight of the outputs independently mm -hmm. um one of the good things about this as far as security is concerned you could go in there and you could lock individual parameters in other words a lot of the processes nowadays you could put a password on there that locks the entire thing well, and nobody could go in there and mess with it but mm -hmm. if they catch the password they could go in there and change everything mm -hmm. uh, what you could do with this which is a little different is you could lock a certain parameter so if you want them to have access to the inputs uh, but you don't want them to be able to change anything on your output or your limiter or your output filter or your output like right here where it says output FIR that's the output fur filter you can actually indiv independently lock the channels so that's something that's a little bit different. Um, you know, you can set your delays on every channel. You know, all eight of the outputs can be delayed. You have your limiter. So basically, it's a very powerful tool. This limiter basically here can save your speakers. If you have a speaker that, you know, or, you know, some of these guys that they go out and every time they play, they blow the horns or whatever. You could go in there and go into the limiter and just set it. Put a fuse. This is a way to do it. And I think I need to make a video, but this is an easy way to do it without blowing your horn. You take a fuse, right? And you put on the horn, you play the box and see when that fuse blows. When that fuse blows, you pull back a little bit and that's how you can get your limiter point. So once you get to that point, you'll never blow your horns again. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So that's an easy way to do it without actually blowing the diaphragm in the horn. Damn, why are you giving them my secret, bro? Yeah, oh, you know about that? Okay, sorry. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> but, you know, then you yeah. have your, your filter here where you can adjust, you know, all your frequencies, so on and so forth. Yep. You know, which you guys are pretty much used to. Mm -hmm. You know, so. See? And you could put this filter on all, there's 16 individual parametrics. Look here. A lot of, you know, processors, they may have four, maybe right. eight. It's Eight this has 16. Mm -hmm. So you could really, really, really fine tune your sound and fine tune exactly what you want to do. And this one is different. Everyone else have their eye pass on right. the right. This one will have an eye pass on the, the left. left. Yeah, and the, the low, low pass, pass on the right. 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 So you have mm -hmm. a lot of options here. So, mm -hmm. see? you know, and basically, you know, if you're in a scenario, say you're doing a live band, um, and this is something that you would have to access via the computer, though. You can't get to this with, with the actual Manual. unit. Yeah. Um, but you have a feedback suppressor that's also built in. So you can in, uh, enable the feedback suppressor on all four input channels. You know, you got gating, these are your gates, and you know, your input levels, and all of these parameters can be adjusted for every input and every output. Mm. All right, so this is just a quick run through of the, um, you know, the, the, uh, the software that's affiliated with the processor. And everything can be used, you know, and set up with a preset, so you can name it uh, depending on the venue or the event that you're doing, you could set all your settings and then save it. So this is almost like using a digital mixer, a rack mountable digital mixer. You could use it as that. So this would be considered a four input, eight output digital mixer. So if you don't have a mixer, you could actually use this by itself with a laptop and control an actual um, band or an event, as long as it's a small enough band. I say like what you do in Amazuru. Right, right. There you go. Mm -hmm. okay. you know what I'm saying something like that. You know, you have your delays, so if you have your different stacks and you need a delay stack or whatever, you could set your delay in here. You also have your matrix, so you could take channel input A and B and send it to output number six, you know, and so on and so forth. For you guys that are familiar with uh, the processors, you know how the matrix works. And then you also have your signal here where you can make your fine adjustments if you need to. There's another nice thing about this processor you could actually use it as a, a bench test unit. Mm -hmm. So you see where it says signal right here, right? You could send us a, a 1000 Hertz sine wave 
to any one of your output channels. So say you have a horn hooked up on output number three, but you wanna make sure all your horns are working. You don't have to play music or anything like that. You could go into your, your processor and turn on a one kilohertz tone as a sine wave. Yeah. And you have options here yeah, like as a, pink noise, yeah. sine wave. That's what I was gonna say. Or pink white noise. noise. White noise. Not for them used to it as white noise. Right. When I said in the box on the stage and stuff. Right, right. So you yeah. could do that here and adjust your volume, you know, adjust your gain, you know, and then you could send that to your horns or your tweeters or whatever whatever, you know, even if you want to do it on your subs, you could change the frequency to like maybe hundred and fifty hertz mm -hmm. and send it to your subs and then that way you could kinda of like check all of your boxes. Yeah. Before you go to your next event, so I just want to do a little quick a quick run through of the um, software that's affiliated with the processor, and as you can see, it is our software. It's right there in the the uh, software itself. It mm -hmm. says Wasi, so it's our official software. And these, you know, you can see your your, um, your digital audio, your IP, address uh, IP addresses, addresses yeah, and so on and so forth. So that that goes to what I was saying. Uh, in a separate video where you could actually be in switzerland or wherever you are and log into this unit and control it from there so that's good for like uh movie theaters bars nightclubs stuff like that you don't have to physically go there to do anything you can link up to it and control it from there all right so hopefully this video was helpful as far as showing you a little bit more about the software yep so wasi and chino in collaboration the two <laughs> we are doing you know what i mean over and out bless up all right, all right. yep